Hey there, Sharon Hornelstrom here. Welcome to day 226 of our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day this year that improves us in some way. This month we are focusing on the area, the life framework area of confidence. And today's topic, I got off a card and it says, I trust the process of life. So we're gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna to share actually eight lessons that I've learned, many of them the hard way in life that have really helped me to embrace this thought on this card. And I'm gonna read the back to you quick. It says, there's a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. Wish that were true. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. Now, this is our overarching belief and strategy and focus for our life, right? Do we know that good and bad things are gonna to happen to us no matter what? Yes, and it's how we respond to them that really matters. So what are some of the lessons I've learned about trusting the process of life and believing that everything is gonna work out for me? Because if we believe that, it actually will. So number one, we get what we expect. I get what I expect in life, whether I believe it or not. You get what you expect in your life, whether you believe it or not. So you might as well expect really good, great things. I think this one belief is probably responsible for my divorce because it was the one thing I would say when I was discussing something with my husband that would trigger him and really get him upset because he absolutely didn't believe this was true. But I do, I believe that we get what we set out for, we get what we think about, we get what we believe, we get what we choose to create in our lives. And I think that allows me the freedom and the flexibility and the opportunities, I can see the opportunities that are coming my way then to take advantage and create the life I want. Number two, we need to focus on what we want. I want to say always, but always is impossible, but as much as humanly possible, we have to focus on what we want, not what we don't want or not what is in our life right now. We have to always have our eyes on the what it is that we're trying to create, what it is that we want. Number three, I, the flip switch, I know we've talked about this this year, we have to, as much as possible, as soon as we notice we are thinking something negative, we're thinking about something we don't want, we need to flip that switch in our mind, and I actually sometimes will close my eyes, or I'll go flip a light switch to remind me to stop thinking negatively, stop talking negatively, stop being upset about something, and switching it to something that feels better for me, the flip switch. Uh, number four, we want all of us, whether we believe it or not, again, we see what we want to see in the world. We see what we expect to see in the world. Our brain has got this huge filter on it based on our past experiences, based on what we want and our vision is, and it will filter out anything that isn't important for us to see because otherwise we would be inundated with so much information that our brains would fry because we couldn't handle all of the stimulus and all the attention getting and all of the, the information that comes into our brain and our, through our senses. <laughs> So we have to realize that we see what we want to see. That's why it's so important to think about what you want. Because when you think about what you want, the world will start to show you the things that will help you get and achieve those things. Number five, uh, we create what we want to experience in the world. And again, we don't always believe that, but it's absolutely true. If I think back in my past experiences in my life, even the bad experiences I've had, I actually played a part in creating those because I didn't believe I was worthy or I, I didn't believe certain things or I was think, focusing on what I didn't want and then bringing more of that into my life. If I don't want a lot of drama and trauma in my life, guess what? I shouldn't think about those things. I shouldn't watch the news or the media or things that show me trauma and drama in other people's lives all the time because before I know it, those things will start showing up in my life. Number six, treat other people the way you want to be treated. Uh, I don't know how many times I think this a day, but... When you see people being a jerk to someone else, I guarantee if someone treated them that way, they would be totally indignant. So always keep in mind and take a deep breath and say, well, if I were feeling this way or if I were in this situation, how would I want to be treated? And then treat people the same way. <clears throat> I always say that we show people exactly who we are by the way we treat other people, or we show people exactly how we feel about ourselves by the way we treat other people. Uh, number seven, everything is rigged in my favor. Now, you don't have to believe this. You don't have to believe that the universe is rigged in your favor. And I didn't always believe this. I used to think that things just happened and that I didn't have any control over them. And, you know, like the weather, I couldn't do anything about it. So it just was what it was. Well, 
we can believe that or we can believe that the universe and the world and everything is rigged in our favor and just I challenge you to try that for a day if you if you don't normally believe that try believing everything works out perfectly for me or you everything is rigged in my favor and see what kind of experiences you have throughout your day I guarantee you'll have a much better day than if you feel like the world is out to get you or that that nothing ever works out for you and finally number eight um, we get to choose our beliefs, our thoughts, our feelings, our actions, our experiences, etc. <coughs> Again, our entire life is, is a series of decisions and experiences and our responses and feelings and thoughts and beliefs about those events. And if we want them to be something that makes our life in, in an ever-improving experience, then we have to choose that we want to have that. We have to notice if we're having beliefs that aren't supporting us or if we have conflicting beliefs that are preventing us from getting what we want then we have to make a decision and a choice about how we want to feel how we want to show up in the world what we want our feelings and actions and beliefs to be what kind of an impact we want to have on the world around us and i guess i could add a ninth one always be yourself always do what feels right for you and see if your experiences aren't impacted by good things happening to you more often and that I don't know about you but I know that when good things happen around me and I feel good about what's going on in my life and I'm seeing the things that I want to see in the world my confidence goes way up and I know that I'll be able to figure everything out along the way so our action item today is to ask yourself am I flowing with or fighting against nature the world life the universe anything in our world I know that for me personally, one thing I cannot do is watch the media, watch the news. And I've given it, I gave it up in the 1980s, so that tells you how long I gave up on the news ago. Because every time I watched it, it made me feel bad, right? Bad, stressed out, was focusing even back in the 80s on all the bad things that were happening in the world. And even though we didn't have 24 hour news back then, it was having enough of a negative impact on me that I chose not to watch it anymore. So. Notice things in your life like that today. Just as you go about your day, pay attention. Am I flowing with what I want to see in the world? Or am I being impacted by things that I don't necessarily want impacting me in my life and in my world? That's just my one example. Uh, and then if you want, if you so choose, just pay attention today uh, to your life and what's going on in it and, and some of your beliefs and thoughts and feelings around your confidence. If you want to share in the comments below, great. If you don't, Keep it to yourself, but do this anyway, because this will make you feel better. If you feel better, you have more confidence. If you have more confidence, your life is better. All right, have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. So I'll be with you tomorrow with another confidence-related topic for this month's annual challenge. This month's annual challenge. This month's topic for the annual challenge. Have an awesome day.